Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about wet plate holders and how you can make a simple perspex insert so you can use different sizes of plate. This is one of my plate holders. Um, by standard this would take a 12 by 10 inch plate which is a traditional size. I have a thir oh, sorry, a Thornton Packard 12 by 10 camera and that's what it was designed for. However, I also want to shoot 10 by 8 plates um, and 5x4, sort of fairly standard sizes. And so to do that, you need to make inserts. When you look at your plate holder and you open it up inside, what you'll see typically is this little clip here, which is like a pressure plate. It just holds the plate in place once you've closed the, the holder. And then this is the, the side that actually receives your aluminium or glass plate when you put it in. And really importantly, if you look closely, there's a rebate that runs around the inside of the holder and that's what the plate glass or tin type plate would sit on. Now this is 10 by 12 inches so that's the standard size but let's say I want to use 5 by 4 plates well what I've done here is I've purchased a piece of Perspex which is the same thickness so it's about three three and a half four millimeters same thickness as that rebate and then I've cut this down to size so that it fits inside my plate holder like so and then I'm just inside here, where I've mar used masking tape to work out the, the position of my plate, cut it out with a Dremel, and then I've simply added an, an extra little rebate inside here just by gluing on some very, very thin one millimeter strips of, of Perspex. And the plate then just basically sits in there. And because it's the same depth as that rebate, it's in the same position, so it's always in focus. And you can make these very cheaply because this Perspex doesn't corrode, easy to clean, it's not overly heavy either, so you're not adding huge amounts of weight to your camera. Um, and you could make them any size or any shape. You could have, you know, circular plates if you wished. Um, so I find this works really well. I've made probably a couple of dozen of these holders. They've all worked brilliantly, you know, so I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the system. Uh, if you are building a camera, and some of my other, other videos I talk about building your own camera, try to get a big holder, you know, t 10 by 12 ideally. That way it's much easier to size down and you could always go to um, 10 by 12 should you wish to just buy a piece of glass that size or cut your own aluminium and you've got options so yeah best of luck um, and make your own holders 